The Iran and the UK has delivered a stunning blow to the European Union. The Brexit referendum came down to the wire. And as Tina Krauss reports, in the end, UK voters split 52 to 48 to leave the EU. British Prime Minister David Cameron made a shocking decision to step down after the UK voted to leave the European Union. I do not think it would be right for me to try to be the captain that steers our country to its next destination. The UK has voted to leave the European Union. Yeah! Initial polls suggested a close race, but voters in Northern England and Wales helped tip the scale in favour of independence. The sun has risen on an independent United Kingdom. The Prime Minister called for the Brexit referendum under pressure from members of his party who claim Europe costs and controls too much. Anger over mass immigration fueled the Leave campaign because of the EU's open borders. It does demonstrate the level of division and, and, and anger actually in the country. I think that it really is a wake-up call for Westminster. Britain's decision to leave the EU is already being felt here and around the world. The British pound plummeted to a 30-year low against the dollar following the news. Back in April, President Obama said a Brexit would put any future U.S.-U.K. trade deals in jeopardy. Because our focus is in negotiating with a big bloc, the European Union, to get a trade agreement done. And U.K. is going to be in the back of the queue. Britain has been a part of the 28-nation bloc since joining 43 years ago. But formally separating won't be easy. The process is expected to take at least two years. Tina Krauss, CBS News, London.